Hi there, welcome back to our channel Gen Z Marketing. In this video, we'll be checking out the all-new ChatGPT plugins. So let's get started and see what's in the store. Recently, OpenAI launched plugins for ChatGPT, which is a significant step towards improving the functionality and usefulness of this incredible language model. Plugins are essentially tools that are designed specifically for language models with safety as a core principle and help ChatGPT access up-to-date information, run computations, or use third-party services. Currently, there are 11 third-party plugins available for ChatGPT and OpenAI is hosting two plugins themselves, that is, a web browser and a code interpreter. These plugins are designed to help ChatGPT perform a range of tasks more effectively and to enable users to use the model for a wider range of applications. Now let's check out how ChatGPT plugins work. OpenAI has shared a video that demonstrates how to use ChatGPT for simple meal planning and how to order ingredients on Instacart. Have a look at this video. Today I'm going to show you how you can use ChatGPT to do some simple meal planning. First, let's head to the plugin store to install the necessary plugins. Next, let's ask ChatGPT for a restaurant recommendation on Saturday, a recipe for Sunday, the total calorie count, and to order the ingredients on Instacart. First, it's using OpenTable to find me a great restaurant for Saturday. For Sunday, it's finding me a simple recipe and it's asking Wolfram Alpha to calculate the calories. 862, great. Now let's make the shopping list. All right, all we have to do to order the ingredients is click the link. This video is a great example of how ChatGPT can be used for practical and everyday tasks. In addition to the video on meal planning and grocery shopping, OpenAI also shared another video that demonstrates the power of browsing in ChatGPT using web browsing plugin. ChatGPT with browsing allows the model to research real-time information beyond its trading data. Let's see how ChatGPT with browsing can help us catch up on current events. ChatGPT with browsing uses the Bing API to search, and it uses a text-based web browser to go beyond just search results to actually navigate websites. It can synthesize information found across multiple sources to give us a more grounded response. Using its research from browsing, ChatGPT has given us an answer here with two citations. We can hover over each of the citations to see where it's sourced from, and we can even click the citation to go directly to the source and verify the claim that ChatGPT has made here. ChatGPT with browsing is calibrated to browse only when needed. In this query, ChatGPT already knows the answer and it correctly chooses not to browse. This example highlights the potential of browsing as an additive experience for ChatGPT users. By allowing the model to access up-to-date information and external resources, users can ask a wider range of questions and receive more accurate and relevant responses. Now the question is how to use ChatGPT plugin. At this time, the ChatGPT plugin is not yet available to all users. However, OpenAI has recently announced that they will begin extending plugin alpha access to users and developers from their waitlist. This is an exciting opportunity for developers to start exploring the capabilities of ChatGPT plugins and to begin building custom applications that integrate with the language model. If you're interested in gaining early access to the ChatGPT plugin, the first step is to join the waitlist. In order to do this, you'll need to fill out a form provided by OpenAI. If you're accepted onto the waitlist, you'll receive an email with further instructions on how to gain access to the ChatGPT plugin. Depending on the current status of the waitlist, it may take some time before you receive access, so be patient and don't be discouraged if you don't hear back right away. The addition of plugins is a game changer for ChatGPT and will undoubtedly change how users interact with this powerful language model. I'm very excited to make use of the ChatGPT plugin once it's available. What do you think about ChatGPT plugins? Let me know in the comments.